Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Happy January. I can't believe it's January the 19th already. I have no idea where the last two weeks have gone. It's not, no easy route into January this year. It was like full on. So it's just been, um, yeah, really pushed for time, really kind of, you know, have to get things done. But I think that's, um, hello Suzanne, lovely to see you. Hope you're settling in all gorgeous just saying january is i don't know how it's been for you but obviously you've been moving so yeah it's been full on as as well for you i know um but um yeah just whew, it's the 19th where's it where's it gone um so i think perhaps that was a bit of 2017 energies just maybe coming to an end that was quite an intense year lots of clearing lots of things kind of coming and hitting us up in the hitting us right in the face if you like for it to be kind of brought into our awareness so we could deal with it and shift it so we're free for this year to just get on and do it and change uh, the way that we are and you know really start to create that life that we that we all desire so i've been doing quite a lot of work on the chakras um the last uh few days a uh, couple of weeks actually um and some really interesting stuff coming out as there's so much buried in our chakras so if you saw any of my other posts you'll see that the chakras are those um energy you know energy centers that are that are like the you know if you walk into a room for instance you you see what's going on but there you know you might not see exactly what's been going on but you can sense that there's either been an argument or you can feel that real kind of joy of of everyone just loving being together whichever way it goes or you know as i said in one of the posts kind of noticing someone across the room but not you know it's not always physical it's that you're drawn to them so this is our chakras speaking and our chakras are like our processes so they process all the information that's coming in all the energy energetic information that's coming in from the world outside us um, and can make us feel quite overwhelmed you know so putting ourselves in our little bubbles so we choose to take in what um and feel what we want to rather than picking up on everybody else's stuff but they're also our kind of speakers out into the world so if you imagine your aura as the um oh yeah i don't know it's the thing that you, you know it's what people pick up on it's your tune if you like and your speakers are like your amplifiers giving you know speaking your tune out into the world your own very unique self um, and when our chakras are all aligned, um, we just feel so much in the flow, so much more in the flow um, and happier. And when there's something kind of stuck in there, you know, you can you can even sense it in other people. Um, you think, oh, there's something a bit, you know, there's something not quite right with them today. Um, and you can you can kind of your chakras pick up on that sensation. So this is what our chakras do. So really being aligned with our chakras, coherent coherency is you know is healing because you're in coherency you're in flow so i thought we'd just do some chakra healing today and go do a lovely meditation um and uh, yes see where we go so i'll just get on with it rather than chitter chattering away because you can all look up about the chakras so we'll just see what is ready to be released in whichever of your chakras you're drawn to today okay so just getting nice and comfortable wherever you are and if you can feet firmly on the floor or just nice and relaxed lying down okay and taking a nice deep breath in and breathing your eyes closed and just breathing out and just now tuning into your breath as you breathe in breathing all of that peace and relaxation and just breathing out acknowledging how you're feeling without wanting to change it right now and again nice deep breath in and breathing out and just noticing just those few breaths and how they can bring you back into a more peaceful state, into the present moment. So first of all, as always, we're going to do some grounding. Always important to ground, ground, ground. Okay, so take your awareness to your solar plexus, 
just below your ribs and just feeling this magnetic pull down maybe see it like an en a yellow cord if you like a yellow energy cord coming from that yellow energy center of your solar plexus coming down your sacral chakra into that orange energy center just below your belly button and picking up an orange cord and down into your root chakra that red energy center at the base of your spine in your groin and just picking up a red energy cord and just seeing those three cords going straight down through the chair or wherever you're sitting straight down being pulled gently down through the floor down through the ground past the soil the rocks deeper and deeper and deeper deeper and deeper and deeper down and down and down just feeling those cords just dropping down fast 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 down 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 deeper and deeper and deeper and heading to the heart of mother earth and however that looks for you and i always see it like some sort of crystal cave and just seeing those three energy cords moving down into the heart of Mother Earth and just setting the intention of securing those energy cords around a beautiful crystal at the heart of Mother Earth. And setting the intention that you're going to keep that grounding cord in place for the whole day until you reset it tomorrow. Okay, so just taking a moment to notice how you feel more grounded, more on the planet, more connected. And then just allow yourself to draw this beautiful earth energy back up. So it's coming back up. And just feel it pulsing beneath the soles of your feet and opening up those chakras. We do have energy centers in the soles of our feet. Allowing this energy to be drawn up, relaxing your feet, relaxing your ankles, relaxing your calves and your shins, relaxing your knees, moving into your thighs, into your hips, and just feel this earth energy, this beautiful healing energy, just filling up that root chakra. Whether you can see, feel, just imagine it. Just know, just set the intention that, that your root chakra is being filled with this beautiful earth energy, giving you all the support and security you need for the day. So as you continue to draw this energy up like a straw, you can even breathe it in, breathe it in through the soles of your feet, through your intimate muscles, through the palms of your hands even, just this energy drawing up, giving you energy. And as you feel that root chakra getting more and more filled with this beautiful energy, you're going to allow the overflow of this earth energy to move back down your grounding cord and down to the heart of Mother Earth. And it's going to be taking with it any fears, any fears about money, any fears about where you are in life, your security. So just allowing this earth energy to carry all of that away. So you've got this lovely loop of energy drawing up that healing energy, nurturing energy, supportive energy of Mother Earth, filling up your root chakra and as it moves back down your grounding cord in the loop, carrying away anything that's no longer serving you, anything that's ready to be released. And just setting the intention of keeping that earth energy loop running for as long as you need it to. Okay, so now we're gonna take our awareness up. And we're gonna go up now and reach source energy. So we're gonna go up. Take your awareness out of the ceiling, up into the sky, higher and higher and higher. 
higher and higher up past the solar system. Just keep going up higher and higher and higher. Higher and higher, up and up past the Milky Way galaxy, speeding past all the stars of the galaxies, many galaxies, up and up and up, higher and higher and higher, till you burst out of the universe into a series of bright lights and darker lights, bright lights and darker lights, moving up through golden light, higher and higher and higher, up past the laws of the universe, that jelly-like substance, higher and higher, heading towards that pink mist high above you. And up above, high, high above you, notice a beautiful pearly iridescent light that's brighter than the sun. You may see a window or a door and you're gonna take yourself through this opening and up into that pearly iridescent light, that source energy. Go deeper and deeper into this energy. It feels quite sparkly. And I'm just going to ask for your psychic and intuitive centers to be opened for the highest and best level for you and cleaned and cleansed so you receive clarity and healing. So if you'd like this to happen, just say yes in your mind. Okay, so your role now is to witness this healing. So I want you to imagine this column of light, source energy, coming down in a column of light all the way back down now. Back down through the pink mist, through the jelly-like substance. It's got all the colours of the rainbow down through the golden light, back down through the bright lights and darker lights, back down into the universe, all the way down, 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 back down through our solar system. All the way down, down into our sky. Down, down, down into the room you're in. And just imagine your crown chakra just opening and allowing this light, this pure source energy to come down through the crown of your head and down your spine. Just stimulating all of those chakra centers all the way down to your root chakra at the base of your spine in your groin. And you're just going to feel this source energy again, just filling up that root chakra, giving you again all the security that you need. And just be in your root chakra, just see how that feels. You can even put your hand around the area and just feel that energy and just witness that energy center opening, filling with light. You may actually physically feel it, or you might see it. Just know it's happening. And you're gonna invite this source energy now to turn and come back up the front of your body and again it's taking away anything that's no longer needed as it moves up into your sacral chakra into that orange energy center below your belly button and again filling this energy center with light with pure source energy And carrying with it, just seeing, sensing, feeling that energy center opening. And as it moves up, it's taking with it anything that's ready to be released. Moving up now into your solar plexus, that yellow energy center, and just filling this energy center with light, feeling the power. Just knowing you can achieve your goals, whatever it is that you need to do today, just 
feeding this energy center with that knowledge. And as this source energy continues to move up, just move up with it into your heart chakra, that green, greeny pink energy center in the center of your chest. And again, just feel that light just moving into your heart chakra. Witness that chakra opening to the best level for you. Just knowing that you can give and receive love. Just feel that energy center opening. As that source energy picks up anything that's ready to be released, moving up into your throat chakra. This is like a turquoise blue. So again, seeing that source energy moving into your throat chakra, witnessing that throat chakra opening to the right level for you, filling up with light, allowing you to speak your truth, yourself permission to just be you, to speak from your heart as you, as this source energy continues to move up now into your third eye. So just imagine being in that place <clears throat> between your eyes, purple energy center, indigo. And just witness that chakra opening to the right level for you, being filled with light, just giving you that knowledge that you can feel energy, see energy, receive guidance. And that source energy picks up anything that's ready to be cleared and released as it moves up into your crown chakra, just above your head. I see this as white. So just imagine that crown chakra just opening even more, allowing even more light to come down from above, as well as filling with light in the source energy loop, opening up your chakra, just giving you that sense of being connected And then the source energy comes out of your crown chakra like a fountain, bursting out of your crown chakra and coming down like a fountain and just clean, cleaning and cleansing your aura as it goes down, surrounding your whole body and down that grounding cord and away. So everything just cleared away out of your chakras. And just set the intention of keeping the source energy loop running as well. So you've got your earth energy loop running earth energy coming up from the ground all the way to your root chakra and back down and now you have an energy loop from source energy coming down down to your root chakra and up the front of your body out of your head and showering out like a fountain so just knowing that you're running your energy clearing and cleansing your energy so now I just want you to intuitively tune into what chakra needs the most attention today. So you can do that by feeling along your body, along your energy centers, seeing if there's any feelings of stuckness or if there's any emotions coming up for you. So just intuitively choose one chakra. Okay, and then just notice what's the emotion that's coming up when you're feeding into the chakra or being in the chakra, what's the emotion? And then just asking, is there anything underneath this emotion? Does it go deeper? Is there another layer? And is there even another layer under this? It's 
just going as deep, as deep as you need to. Just asking if there's a belief here. Is it a belief of I can't or I'm not? Or I'm too loud or too quiet or too big or too anything. What is that belief that's nestling there in that chakra that's ready to be transformed today? Okay, and then just feeling into that emotion or that belief if you've got to one. And just noticing if that looked like anything, what would it look like? That belief or emotion looked like something. Just see a picture just pop up in your head, don't try. It's the first thing that comes into your head. And just notice what color it is too. There's a shape or a color to this energy that's nestling there, that's ready to be released, transformed. And also if there's a sound, if this emotion or this belief or this pattern that had a sound, what sound would it make? Okay. Feeling quite a lot in my solar plexus, so maybe there's a few of you that need a bit of work, like me, on this one. Okay, so now you've got your image, your colour, your shape, your sound. Just want you to imagine there's a big bubble out in front of you. And you're going to release this energy. Just give yourself permission, smile, thank it for whatever it's done in the past. It's time to let it go. And just take a deep breath in and just breathe out and just see that whole energy just moving out in front of you, out into that bubble, out in front of you. However it wants to move, whether it just zooms in, whether it melts in, whether you need to almost pull it out. So just smile and relax and just breathe and just see that energy moving out into that bubble out in front of you. Okay, so when you feel it's all there, just seeing that bubble, sending that bubble up, away, out of your space, up, 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 high, 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 all the way, high, 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 and just then popping that bubble and seeing all of that old energy just disintegrating and dissolving and disappearing. Okay, so we're going to fill this space with a new image now. So you've got your source energy still flowing. So see that source energy filling up whichever chakra you've just released energy from, filling it up with light. And just creating a new energy, a new more positive energy. So if there's a particular emotion, joy, love, power, power in the sense of inner power, inner knowing, or if there's a belief, if there was a belief of I'm not worthy, for instance, or I don't matter, what's the opposite of that? What would you like to be carrying instead and putting out into the world? And what does this energy look like, this new energy, this positive energy, this new message that you're sending out to the world? What does that look like? 
What image is that? What shape is it? What colour is it? And what sound does this new energy make? If it had a sound, what sound would it be? So just firmly securing that new picture, that new energy, those feelings of you've released, you now have this new information inside of you and for you to send out from that chakra. And I just want you to see, really feel into that feeling, that new positive belief, that new positive emotion. And just feeling that spreading now, expanding and expanding from that chakra expanding and expanding and expanding throughout your whole body, filling your cells with this new picture, this new emotion. So all you can see is this new image, this new positive energy, feeling that in your body, expanding, expanding, filling every cell, molecule and atom of your body and now moving out of your physical space into your energy field, sending out this new message, creating a new picture in your aura, and out, 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 across, into your room, into your house, across where you are, just filling, filling, filling that space wider and wider, out and out and out, out across the whole world, out across the entire universe, a new energy you're speaking out, sending out into the world. And as we know, what we send out, we receive back. Okay. So now checking in on that image and seeing if that old image is gone, that old emotion to be replaced and just making this new positive emotion and image stronger. Feeling that in your body pinching your thumb and forefinger together to really seal that in, knowing you've aligned with that vibration, this new positive belief, this new program. Okay, and just knowing that your earth energy and your source energy, just allowing to keep that running throughout the day. Okay, and now taking your hand to your waist, your right hand, and just kind of flipping up the side of your body to the top of your head, just getting those chakras spinning, getting them all aligned, and just feeling more kind of in your body, in your space, in, in charge of your space. One more time. Okay, so just now taking, coming back into the room, taking a nice deep breath in okay and moving your body and when you're ready coming back into where you are and just feeling a bit lighter nice release a really lovely way of feeling into your energy and just kind of knowing what's in there as well tuning into yourself so let me know how you are after that. Um, yes, definitely feeling, I'm feeling lighter. I hope you are as well. Just there's a bit more space, a bit more expansion. Feel a bit bigger in, in my solar plexus area. So, okay, everyone, I hope that you are all well. I hope that that was fine for you. Please get in touch if anything came up that wasn't feeling that great or you need to, um, you know, there's a bit more work, then please do get in touch with me and we'll see where we go with it. Um, but lots of love to you. Um, hello, Donna. So lovely to see you all the way from Cyprus. Um, yes, sending lots of love, whether you, uh, for you watching live now or watching the replay. And as I said, just let me know how that was for you. Okay, lots of love to all. Mwah. And um, I shall see you very soon. Okay, take care. Bye. Bye bye. Oh, and Deb as well. Hello.
got the same name as me. <laughs> okay, all right, that's interesting. Let's get in, uh, yeah, we'll get in touch. All right, take care. Bye.